Hi, my name is Mr. Cadell, and today I'm going to show you how to fix some common mistakes. One of the first mistakes that I see is sometimes people have like a little hole or a crack or divot. I'm actually going to make a hole on purpose right on the side here. So maybe like there's a little hole in the side. Maybe it's just a piece that came apart when it was being scored and slipped. No worries. Many times what you can do is just take a little piece of clay. I just call it a band-aid piece of clay. You put it on there. You could use your fingers or a tool like this just to smooth it in. Since you're smoothing it in, you don't really have to score and slip it. It's already being worked into the other piece of the clay. So, and I can go in from the inside, and I can also see if it needs some repair work on the inside real quick. I can reach a tool down in there and repair it that way. Uh, the biggest mistake that people make is they start adding a ton of water and try smoothing it over, and then it starts falling apart. If, like here's where it was scored and slipped, I'm just gonna pull it apart here. If this, is coming apart, you can also add another band of clay, but maybe it's this time it's a coil. So I just roll out a quick little coil here, and I put that little band-aid piece of clay in there. A little trick is if it's at the top of my project, I just fold it over just like this, and then I could work this in. I could score and slip this in, but since I'm going to use my fingers and a tool here in just a minute to smooth it out and work it into the clay, that's usually not necessary. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work this part in there. There you go. And again, the biggest mistake is if you just keep adding a bunch of water to it, it's just going to keep falling apart and you'll just get frustrated. Actually, make the problem even worse. There we go. I just kind of smoothed that out. And since I added that piece of clay, now you can't even tell where that little split was at. So another thing that I sometimes see is people's projects. It gets a little too thin in an area and they're just like, this part's thick and this part's way too thin. So if it, that happens, another thing that I do is this time, I create a Band-Aid, a little extra piece of clay, but then I flatten it out into a thinner slab like this and I can actually put that on the inside. And again, as long as I work it into the clay, it'll be fine. Again, another little trick is sometimes I actually position it so that it folds over the top if there's a lip or whatever, just to kind of strengthen that edge. Now again, if I just lift it like this, it might dry and actually pop off. So I'm gonna work it in with a tool and my fingers and just make sure that it's well connected there. And that's how you fix some of those mistakes that are kind of common in clay. And again, I can't say it enough, please do not add too much water. That actually just makes it a whole lot worse. Now sometimes if you get clay that's cracking a bunch, you will need to add a little bit of water at a time, but not too much at a time. And there you go. Actually thicken that part up so it looks nice and even now.